guys so this is the money that they sent I'm sorry, I look like trash right now. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna be doing another story time for y'all. Before we get into this video, I just wanna thank you guys so much for all the love and support I've been getting with my YouTube channel so far. It's really not easy making your own YouTube channel and filming videos. But with all the love I've been getting, it just keeps encouraging me to make more videos for you guys. So I just want to thank you guys so much and I'm so grateful. But tell me why every time I want to film a video, I start breaking out. Like, what is this? So today I'm back again with another story time for y'all because I noticed y'all really like my story time videos. So I'm back with another one. This story is about how I got scammed by a fake sugar daddy account. I was in grade 9 y'all and I think it was like the summer of me going into grade 10. Well, at the end of the school year there was this new girl we're gonna call her Sophie. I really liked this girl like she was so fun to hang out with but I didn't get to hang out with her for that long because she came to school like at the end of the year. It was summer and I got this message from Sophia and she was like can I use your number for something and I was like okay like i didn't really care i didn't really think much of it because like as i said she was like really nice so i don't think she would like do anything bad with my phone number after i gave her my number this random like guy started like texting me i don't now that i'm thinking about it maybe it was a lady and not like a sugar daddy maybe it was like a sugar mom or whatever they call it her messages were like threatening and i was like who's texting me and i remember the person was like threatening to call the cops on her and she was like telling me what to say afterwards i asked she was like i scammed them like i took i took her money or whatever i'm guessing she probably got scammed like she thought she scammed the person but really the person scammed her like now that I'm thinking about it she kept telling me what to say to the person and then she was like okay block them I was about to block them it kind of got interesting like I don't know I liked like reading the messages I ended up not blocking them which I really should have but I did it I asked the person what happened and the person was like oh she scammed she stole my money she was saying I'm gonna call the cops on her. I was 14 y'all so I was kind of lost like I didn't really know what was happening the sugar mama started like talking to me and like asking me questions I was like answering them because I want some money too the hell like I just kept replying to them like I don't know why it was kind of dumb like now that I think about it I really shouldn't have like I should have just blocked her when Sophia told me to but I wanted some money too. Like I told her that this wasn't Sophia and then I told her my name. She was like, well, give me Sophia's number. Give me her Instagram. And I was like, girl, if you give me money, I'll give you Sophia's information. No, blah, blah, blah. Give it to me first. I was like, give me the money first. We ended up like talking. Like, I don't really remember what was said. Like, I really should have like saved all the messages. She ended up agreeing to like send me money. And I was like, okay, bet. I sent her my PayPal. She was like, I can't use PayPal. I need your bank account. So I used my sister's e-transfer. She was like, I need the password. I was like, what? Like, that doesn't really make sense. Because why would you need my my sister's bank password to just send me money? Like, I kept, like, arguing with her. I decided I would give her my bank password at the time i didn't have a bank account so i kept begging my dad to open a bank account for me not for that specific reason before i met the sugar daddy account i wanted my own bank account because i didn't have my own bank account and like every one of my siblings did a few days after i asked my dad to open a bank account for me we went to the bank and we opened one that same day the sugar daddy account asked me for the like the bank information and my dumb little self gave it to them i don't know why i thought it was a good idea to give them like my bank information but i did well after i gave them my bank information i logged into my like my mobile app and then i saw all the money Well, so this is the money that they sent i don't that's the amount of money that they sent i was so happy i thought i was rich and everything like i was about to buy a phone i thought like i actually had money after i received the money 
she was like i need you to go to the store and buy a whole bunch of itunes gift cards and then send me the code but i kind of like started questioning her and then she was like if you do this i'll give you more money so i was like okay bet i'm sorry y'all that was the cringiest shit. <laughs> so the next day i went to the bank you know when you get a new bank card like you open your own bank account and they give you like a fake card they don't give you the real thing yet i still had like the fake card and i was waiting for the real card in the mail so with the fake card i went to the bank and i tried to like take out the money out of my bank account and they said i couldn't she kind of got mad that i couldn't buy the itunes card and then i just blocked her and i couldn't use the card yet because it was fake so i sent the money to my sister i sent a hundred dollars to her and I sent a hundred dollars to my brother and then I used a hundred dollars. We used a hundred dollars and then my sister had a hundred dollars and then I gave a hundred dollars to my brother. Like a week or two after my real card came in the mail and when you get your real card you have to go activate it. So I went to the bank with my sister and we activated it but when the receipt came out it was like negative three hundred and something dollars. I was kind of confused and i was just sitting there acting like what i don't know what happened when i know exactly what i did remind you this happened in grade 9 and i'm in grade 11 now so like throughout the years it's added on more so now it's probably like 600 dollars that i need to pay every day they keep calling me telling me to pay the money back they keep sending me my dad was like really mad at me and he knew I was lying like he already knew I was lying about something so he told me that he wasn't gonna pay for it and I have to pay it myself so throughout these months I still haven't paid it back to this day I still haven't paid the money back I'm planning to pay it back this summer so when we found out that my account was like negative $300 we went to the bank they basically said there's nothing they could do I just have to pay the money back the day that we we're gonna go back to the bank a letter came in the mail I, I don't know where that letter went so the letter was basically saying that I got a thousand dollars from this truck company I gave it to my stepmom and we went to the bank and we showed them and it wasn't really any help i just had to pay the money back i think the sugar daddy's plan was to give me the fake money and then make me buy itunes gift card and give them the code and then i would be the one that owes the bank money i'm gonna show you all the letters i can't show the other side because it has my address on it but this is the money 455 dollars and 21 cents so this is the other letter. So now I only owe them $239.60 because they took up some of the money off because they realized it's Corona time and some people are probably like struggling with money. So they send me like a letter every, every month because I know I have more than that. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope y'all enjoyed this story time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment if you ever got scammed by Sugar Daddy account because I want to feel like I'm not alone and this didn't just happen to me. So comment if this has ever happened to you or if you've had to deal with the fake Sugar Daddy account before. So yeah guys, bye!